Okay, um, welcome to another episode of uh, Georgie's Workbench, and this is the first one um, I've recorded at the bench uh, since I went away on holiday, and I thought I'd come back, um, first of all, with a nice straightforward kit build. I uh, thought that would be uh, just something uh, nice and easy to, to get on with. Um, however, I got hold of this kit and it arrived from China, as, as does most of my uh, stuff. And I noticed that uh, you know, all the components seem to be there um, and I've got a PCB. But the PCB actually has no component values at all on it. Now, I got this uh, from a seller on AliExpress, and when I went to look back at the, the actual uh, description page that I bought it from, the page no longer exists. Uh, so I had to do a search for FM transmitter, because that's what we are looking at here. And uh, I found an identical circuit board but again, I couldn't find any circuit details apart from a parts list. So I let me just bring this in, and it's uh, obviously quite bright. Um, so what I've got here is the parts list, which basically tells me what each each part goes where. And um, I thought, you know, we'll have a have a go at putting it together and uh, see if we can uh, get it all to work as it should do. Now, hopefully, with this video, uh, it's the first one I've done with the switch changed. Um, I probably don't know if you can hear it. I certainly can't hear the noise anymore. And the only computer in here that's running at the moment is the server. Now, if I can still hear that when I do the editing, then um, I may well end up moving the server out of this room as well. My own main PC that I do all the work on is switched off. The laptop on the bench is switched off. So I'm hoping to have cut down pretty much all of the background noise that uh, that you guys can hear. And um, hopefully it will sound a lot better. And you know, to be quite honest, if it saves me a lot of time in editing uh, and post-production, then that's great for me. So anyway, let's get on with soldering this kit and um, I don't know whether to do this as a live one uh, or whether to just um, sort of time lapse and add bits in so we have um, a little it's fairly rough circuit board um, I'll, I'll be honest it, it, it's not the nicest uh, I've seen um, through hole plating looks okay but some of these holes do look a bit a bit poor so um, it, it's definitely a, a more cheaply made board than than some of the other kits we've had um, apart from that uh, it, it it looks fairly straightforward obviously um, you know, we've got no high cost components here. We've got three coils. We have a variable capacitor, uh, variable potentiometer, three transistors, a pile of resistors, and quite a few capacitors. And that's obviously because uh, we are dealing with RF and um, capacitance it is quite a, an important part of uh, RF circuitry, not only to decouple stray RF, but to actually set frequencies. Um, which is uh, what this uh, capacitor will do. Now, looking at it, there's there's no um, crystal of any sort. So, looking at this, it's just going to be a basic transistor-based oscillator. So, this is not going to be the most rock-solid, stable of transmitters by any means. Um, it looks like it's going to be a, a free-running oscillator uh, using the capacitor, the maybe this first coil here, and one of the transistors as the oscillator circuit, and the the rest of the components will be um, amplification to uh, 
amplify first of all the audio input um, which will come from either this jack socket uh, or this microphone um, which you know this little condenser um, element here so yeah um, so let, let's start uh, hunting through and seeing if I can a find the correct resistors and B, um, see how it goes. So let's get this hair off the bench, you know. Um, that's the other thing, um, although you might have noticed in, in, in the update video, um, I had a haircut, uh, and I know that's uh, something that I said I wouldn't do for a while, but, um, you know, there we go. Um, I thought, well, seeing as I was going to a hot country, I didn't really want to have hair down to my knees and um, get hotter than I needed to be so now unfortunately my eyesight is still rubbish so um, let me see now that's orange orange brown that's a, that's three three with one zero so that's a 330 ohm resistor so I'm forever going to be referring to this list but what I won't do is I won't keep bringing it on taking it off uh, I won't keep doing that um, and it actually is the first one on the list which is r7 330 ohm so we're, we're playing the game of uh, find the slot and um yeah guess the component i suppose so r5 r9 um having a circuit diagram would be nice because then i could actually go through and um you know understand the sections myself without having to sort of work them out if you know what I mean um, ah, there we go R7 um, there we go that one goes in there and this as I, as, as I say I can already feel that some of these holes aren't uh, drilled the best and through plated the best um, so what have we got here Four seven three zeros, uh, four point seven k, um, R one and R two. So R one. What's that one? Four seven. That's R2. What I'll do is I might even put these the right way around so that they all match up. Hey, that would be a novel idea, wouldn't it? There we go. So at least it looks a little bit neater. Um, so then what have we got? Um, um, one a zero with three zeros which is ten thousand so 10k uh do we have 10k yes r4 and r5 r4 and r5 so there's r4 and there's the other 10k Okay, so we're getting on with it quite happily here. Now that I've sorted out my brain and I've put things in the right places. And this is one zero with one zero, so 100 ohms, that's R8. Uh, R8 is here. That's C3. And here we come across the hole isn't big enough problem. Uh, there we go, just get it in. C3. C4. Don't you just love it when these things are just so small? Well, these aren't small. I shouldn't really complain, I could be dealing with surface mount. OK, 
Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll just put the board back into the um, back into focus. Make sure you can see it. Um, where else are we? So I've done uh, C one, two, five to seven. Uh, C thirteen is a two hundred picofarad. Is it? No, it's not that one. That one. See, this is where I cannot see a blinking thing. 200 picofarad, there we go. So that's C13. Right, okay, so. Now we've got that, we seem to have two left over. Well, that. We'll have a check of the board in a bit. Um, let's get the solder. And let's... Right, so what can we put in next? What should we go in next? Should we go with that capacitor? Um, which looks like it goes in C8 is a ceramic adjustable. Excuse me. C8 will go there. Now this one will probably need hand holding. So let's just tack one side on. Like that. And I can put it down and solder it properly on both sides. Right, so that's that capacitor. Right, okay. Um, are you? Because we're running such a tight. Oh, there we go. Uh, then we have Q two and three are both. Um, let's make sure I've got the right ones. Nine zero one eight. Yep. So I'll just put these in and solder them up. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my mobile and I'm going to play some music. Hopefully that's playing now. And I'm going to bring in this frequency mode. And there we go, just to prove that we are actually controlling the music. It's quite a low power transmitter. Um, I did have my uh, my big uh, test set on there, and it seems to be putting out um, you know 10, 10 milliwatts of RF, which uh, is actually quite a lot, um, considering that uh, for not much more of that, uh, you know, you, you can get some quite good distances uh, uh, with RF. But uh, in this case, um, how accurate that is and how wide a spectrum that is, I wouldn't like to say. But uh, generally speaking, you know, it's it's not designed for great distances. Um, probably just to to retransmit your phone to uh, an FM radio so that you can, you know, listen to it on a louder system. You know, broadcast it to your own stereo, that sort of thing. So there we go and uh, thanks very much for watching and hopefully uh, we'll see you for the next video. Bye for now.